Hello everyone, welcome you all to our YouTube channel Kempaxalava and today we are going to talk about isomerism which is an important part of advanced level organic chemistry. Most probably isomerism will not be a familiar word for you. So let me introduce the term isomerism first. Actually isomerism is existence of different compounds that have same molecular formula. Mainly isomers can be divided into two groups constitutional isomers or structural isomers and stereoisomers. Further constitutional isomers can be divided into three groups that are chain isomers, position isomers and functional group isomers. Also, stereoisomers have two groups that are inertiomers and diastereomers. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about structural isomers only. In our next video, we will talk about stereoisomers. Now, let's see what is structural isomerism. Isomers that are differ from their internal structure or atoms are arranged in a different order is called structural isomerism. Actually, in these isomers, their molecular formula are same, but they are having different internal structures. I have already told you there are three types of structural isomers and now let's have a look on first type of the structural isomerism, chain isomers. These isomers are having same molecular formula but they differ from the chain length. That is, these isomers are differ from the length of the main carbon chain. We can describe chain isomers with some examples. Let's take alkanes. You all know they have the common molecular formula of CnH2n plus 2. If we take a molecule with 5 carbon atoms, then the molecular formula will be C5H12. If we draw a simple alkane with this formula, this will be the structure. And then we can number the main carbon chain as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The length of this carbon chain is 5. So the name of this molecule is pentane. We can draw a chain isomer by changing the length of the main carbon chain. So let us take methyl group like this then in the main carbon chain only have four carbons then it will be two methyl butane in this molecule there are only four carbons in the main chain so they are chain isomers likewise we can take another methyl group from the main carbon chain and attach it to the second carbon like this and now there are only three carbons in the main chain then this will be 2 2 dimethyl propane now you can clearly see all alkane structures are having same molecular formula but in the first structure there are five carbon atoms in the main chain and the second structure having four carbon atoms and the final one having only three carbon atoms. If we take an alcohol as another example, we can write CnH2n plus 2 or as the common molecular formula. Let's think this alcohol consists of five carbons. Then its molecular formula should be C5H12O. Keep in your mind that when you draw chain isomers for a molecule, 
other than alkanes then the carbon atom which is connected to the functional group should be fixed to all isomers if not they will categorize as positional isomers then for the c5 h12 o formula we can draw a simple primary alcohol and this structure is having pi carbon atoms in the main carbon chain as you can shown in the figure so the name of this structure is pentanol if we draw a chain isomer for above mentioned primary alcohol then the oh group must be attached to the first carbon atom as same as the above alcohol but length of the main carbon chain has to be different so we can draw another primary alcohol by adding a methyl group to the second carbon atom then there are only four carbon atoms present in the main carbon chain and the name can be written as 2 methyl butanol likewise we can attach another methyl group to the second carbon like this structure and then the main carbon chain length was reduced to three carbon atoms and the name of this structure is 2,2 dimethyl propanol okay let's see what are positional isomers isomers they they are having same molecular formula and same functional group but substituents are in different positions in the same carbon chain and i will explain the positional isomerism by using uh, some examples first let's take an alcohol with three carbon atoms then the molecular formula is c3h8o and then we can simply draw a primary alcohol with three carbons so the name of the structure can be written as propanol when we draw a positional isomer for this structure then the length of the carbon chain should be fixed and the functional group in here oh group should be draw in another place so let's draw a structure as this here carbon chain length is 3 and oh group is attached to second carbon atom then this structure can be named as 2 propanol moreover first structure is a primary alcohol while second one is a secondary alcohol now let's take an another example you all know that the common molecular formula of alkyne is cn h2n minus 2 if we take c4h6 molecule then simply we can draw one structure as this and according to this structure triple bond is attached to first and second carbon atoms and the structure is named as butyne if we change the position of triple bond between second and third carbon atoms like this then its name is changed as 2 butyne with the previous slides we have talked about chain isomers and positional isomers now let's move on to functional group isomers these isomers have same molecular formula but they are having different functional groups when we consider about main functional groups of the common organic structures then there are four categories that are showing functional group isomerism first one is alcohol and ether second one is aldehyde and ketone and the third one is carboxylic acid and esters and the fourth and final one is alkenes and cyclic alkanes okay let's consider first category that is alcohol and ether 
they are showing common molecular formula of CN H2N plus 2 O. If we take a molecule with three carbon atoms, then the molecular formula can be written as C3 H8 O. Then we can draw an alcohol and ether like this. Now you can clearly see that in propanol structure, functional group is an alcohol that is OH. And in methoxyethane, functional group is an ether. For aldehydes and ketones, we can write a common molecular formula of CnH2NO. Then, if a molecule is having three carbons, then the molecular formula will be C3H6O. And we can draw an aldehyde as this and a ketone as this. Now see, propanol has aldehyde, sorry, propanol has aldehyde group as the functional group and 2-propanone consists of ketone as a functional group. Now, let's take carboxylic acid and ester category. Here, Cn, H2N, O2 is the common molecular formula for both carboxylic acid and ester. Then, if a molecule has three carbons, then its structure will be C3H8O2. Then we can draw a carboxylic acid as this and an ester like this. As can be seen in the propanoic acid structure, CWOH group or the carboxylic acid can be taken as the functional group while in Methyl ethanoid, it was an ester group. As the final example, we can take alkenes and cyclic alkanes. Although you are not familiar with cyclic alkanes, you all know that the common molecular formula of alkenes is CnH2n. Then, Let's consider the molecule of C4H8. Now we can draw alkene as this and cyclic alkane as this. In butene, functional group is an alkene. This is shown in this structure, but in the cyclobutene, single bonds are present in the structure. I think now we covered all categories of structural isomers. So let's do an activity. Based on this video, now you can give a try to draw all constitutional isomers for C4H10O. And if you want further guidance, please comment on us and we will help you. If you still did not subscribe on us, please subscribe and click bell button for new videos.